Jörg, thank you for joining us. I just wanted to ask you, um, we're, we're all aware that the 2008-9 financial crisis changed the orthodoxy in the corporate finance world. Um, and that ever since then, uh, companies have been managing themselves according to lessons they learned then. Do you think the 2020 crisis with coronavirus is going to have a similar changing impact on the way companies run themselves? Yes, good morning, John. <clears throat> Thank you. And and I would maybe pre a small preamble just to say that um, my perspective, of course, is from uh, from our from my own company, which is a non-investment grade company. So you will find that um, high yield companies at this in this rating spectrum, double B and single B, um, um, will probably have slightly different lessons to those treasurers and those companies that are rated in investment grade. So with that as a background, um, my, my answer would be absolutely clear, a clear yes, because um, two key lessons that, 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 that we have learned, one in 2008-9 and, and the other one that, that we're learning right now. Um, in 2008 and 2009, it was really the realization um, that markets can close for long periods of time. You know, prior to 2008, you know, you would let uh, debt maturities approach the maturity date within a fairly short period of time, knowing that you have access to markets that can refinance that. Um, and, and in the high yield space specifically, when there's a risk off period, um, like we experienced then, all of a sudden markets were closed for weeks and months at a time. And so if you had to refinance during that period, it was very, very difficult. So the key lesson in 2008-9 is refinance your maturities well ahead of time. Don't let them creep up. And, and be conservative around refinancing. So that I would say was the key lesson. And, and, and this year, um, a similar key lesson, key lesson is really the realization that efficient liquidity is not necessarily comfortable in the crisis. Now, when I say efficient liquidity, the cash on the balance sheet is not very efficient, um, especially in euros you know, with negative interest rates. So high cash balances is not efficient. However, uh, and, and of course, sorry, and an RCF, of course, is expensive. However, but liquidity is often about survival and about getting through a, getting through a crisis. So I think the, the, the lesson in 2020 is really to keep high liquidity, uh, even at the higher cost, um, to be more conservative. And so that when if another crisis does occur, that you have all the liquidity that's required to get through that crisis. So those, I would say, are the two key lessons uh, comparing the two crises. Another thing that companies often say is important, especially with a view to crisis management uh, or crisis preparedness, is having access to multiple funding markets. Um, is that, do you think that's wise? Does it, has it actually proved to help? From my perspective, I would say without a doubt, it has certainly helped. Um, you know, any debt that you raise in the bond market, of course, reduces pressure on your banking facilities. Um, and, and as everyone knows, that bank bank funding typically is not available in the very long tenors. So, you know, to 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 uh, tap the bond market for your longer term debt requirements is is key, and that also then keeps your bank facilities for, for backstop liquidity facilities and and shorter tenor debt. So, and, and in addition to that, you're talking. You know, it's very important to diversify your entire debt portfolio, which could include securitization, um, supply chain funding. And also particularly uh, ECA kind of funding for for capex projects, um, and that entire diversification I think uh, will will stand you in good stead, and, and not relying on any particular market. Because as I said, you know, in the banking crisis, all of a sudden bank funding became very difficult. Access to capital markets was difficult. So if your reliance is on only one or two of those markets, it does expose you. And so I would say uh, multiple funding markets diversification has has many benefits.